Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you are doing great. You know who's not doing great? High end retailers. Look, I'm standing right behind Louis Vuitton in Germany right now, Cologne, Germany, and there is so much data coming out from high end retailers, diamond retailers, and Rolex retailers, watch retailers. It is intense. The economy is slowing down and it is slowing down fast. Check this story out out of Zero Hedge. Diamond prices crash to multi decade lows as art, wine, and Rolex market sour. You know, it's really funny. For the last few years, everybody tells you, oh, art's a great investment, and oh, Rolexes are a great investment, and Lambos never go down. And I consistently made videos showing you that yes, they absolutely go down. Everywhere I went, there was a salesman telling me how they appreciate they never go down. That's absolutely not true. Now, a lot of these companies do very manipulative marketing where they pull back inventory or like go into a Rolex store and try and buy a Rolex. And what you will find is they don't have any Rolexes for sale. Why? Because they want you to make you feel so small, so insignificant that it's so hard to get it that you are racing to get one. I just went to a Rolex uh, store in Las Vegas. I was with Jay Bravo and we went and he goes, check this out. We went inside. Hey, I want to buy a Rolex. I've got cash. I'm like, sorry, we have none to sell. And he goes, no, I got cash. Let's just buy a Rolex. He was just totally messing with them. And uh, they said, no, you can't. But then they slip you a car and they say, I got a guy right down the street that can sell you one. Really? Isn't that interesting? And it's those manipulative practices like this store. Do you want a Louis? Now I get it. People want nice things. I totally get it. And I'm all for it. You can buy whatever you want. If you're spending a small percentage of what you make, who gives a rip? I'm the same way. I spend 10% of what I make, okay? I invest 80, I give 10, I spend 10. That's just how I do it. As a matter of fact, people like JC Penney, when he died, were giving 90% of his wealth away because at a certain point, it's like that movie, Brewster's Millions, you know, with Eddie, not Eddie Murphy, who was that guy? Put it down in the comment section, I forget who it was. At a certain point, you're given a ton of money, you can't spend it that fast. There's only so many hours in the day. Sorry I digress, check this out. The downturn in the diamond market is nothing short of breathtaking. Prices are in free fall as cash-strapped consumers have been shunning luxury goods, grappling with failed Bidenomics that unleashed an inflation storm and resulted in high interest rates, compounding the issue. The rising demand for lab-grown diamonds has pressured the prices of natural stones. I mean, honestly, like who would pay that much when it's you, you could just literally get the same thing that looks the same thing for way less. I, I just don't get it. Anyway, according to Bloomberg data, citing the Diamond Standard Index, diamond prices have plunged to the lowest on record, with data going back to the early 2000s. The index has lost 45% of its value since March of 2022. The Diamond Index losing 45% in merely two years. Now, how is that investment for you? Since diamonds are a consumer-driven market, the fierce bear market in price signals that the industry is in trouble, as well as signals that low to mid-tier consumers are in trouble. In less than a week, Dollar General and Dollar Tree, with tens of thousands of stores nationwide, have warned that their, cons their core customer bases are under pressure. Hey, you wanna talk about how I put the Ninja puts Dollar General or the dollar stores along with Louis Vuitton. I actually know someone that has a Louis Vuitton bag and it's a real thing. They went out and spent it and they're so excited and they barely uh, walk around with it because they're afraid of it being stolen. Um, but they brag about it all the time and they actually shop at discount retailers like Walmart, like Target and Dollar Tree. But they got one of these. What do you think about that? It's because all they care about is what other people think of them. Now look at the way I dress and the way I do my hair. I could give a rip what people think about me. De Beers, the large, world's largest diamond producer by value, um, recorded its worst year in two decades. Okay, now we're gonna move off of diamonds in a second, but you have to understand, there's your standard, right? When you talk about luxury items or um, uh, wedding, you know, people getting married and they have to have a diamond, blah, 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 blah. I get it, honest truth, true story. I got my wedding ring um, at a pawn shop and my wife actually picked it out. I mean, I'm just gonna be honest. We have been living our lives differently ever since. Now we have an amazing, my wife's got an amazingly beautiful ring with uh, carrots, uh, I don't remember how many carrots, but she, the, the, the jeweler that serviced her ring last said this is one of the most flawless diamonds she's ever seen. But we got it used, we got it second hand. You can have nice things. You can have these things if you want by side hustling and doing stuff to where you're like, Psh. I'll buy myself a bag. It's only 1% of what I made last month. You could do that, right? But most people are not doing that. They're trying to dress up to impress up. 
I only said that because it sort of rhymes. Now, uh, it says here, the diamond and luxury goods industry was a major beneficiary of the helicopter money from the US government dishing out to everybody during the COVID era. However, as soon as pandemic savings dried up and the Biden-Harris team ignited an inflation storm through failed Bidenomics, uh, stores, uh, companies like uh, Rolex, uh, handbags, and Gucci loafers, and things like that, they started to fall, okay? The sales fell. Now there's no problem, we've got it. It's a true story. Someone I knew went in and was messing with, I don't remember, was it a Birkin bag? And uh, they, they said, uh, we don't have any, we don't have any. Um, and then they said, oh, we've only got one. There's only one, per, and you can only buy it's one per customer. Or something. I don't remember how the story went. He said, oh, I really wanted one for me and my two daughters. And ironically, uh, a few minutes later, they came out of the back like, you're never gonna believe this. We've got three. True story, I know I'm sort of fumbling. There's a lot going on around here. If you could only see, there's a lot of people. Um, okay, it says here, they're staring at this person going, who is the ninja? Um, there has also been downward pressure from the Gen Zs uh, uh, from not getting married. Is that crazy? Because people are like, I don't, why, why get married? This world's screwed up. I, I honestly don't believe that. I think yeah. you should get married. I think you should try to lead a happy life and raise amazing human beings. But um, that's just me says here, uh, some millennials are too broke to afford natural stones and have gravitated to lab-grown diamonds in recent years for the rapid growth of artificial stones has pressured natural stone prices. It says here, uh, in addition to the collapse in diamond prices, the Bloomberg Subdial Watch Index, okay, where I told you we're getting to Rolexes and things like that, which tracks prices for the 50 most traded watches by value on the secondary market, has sunk nearly 18% in 24 months. Bob's watches, remember me, the guy that walked in and said it's gonna happen? Just, that was, just making sure you remember. Look at wine prices on the London International Vintners Exchange. The Live X Fine Wine 50 index has plunged below 40, below COVID lows with a five year return of around 8.4%. And let's not forget, here we go, let me do this too, and I'm gonna just turn the camera around so you can get something to see, because who wants to look at Louis Vuitton so much? It says here, the um, classic automobiles such as Packard Roadsters and Ford Thunderbirds or mainly classes, classics before the 1960s are not selling well at auctions. Baby boomers overpaid for these vehicles while Gen Xers and millennials instead uh, seek cars from the 1980s, 90s, and the 2000s such as 911 turbos. I'm gonna let you know a little secret here. The Ninja likes a nice 911 turbo. So, much, much, so much for the old folks trying to dump their 1930s Packards at auctions bought a decade or two ago. The overall theme here is that this offers a view into the consumer health. Low and mid-tier households are certainly feeling recession-like pressures. The truth is, it's about to be buying season and it's gonna be buying season when everybody figures it out. Hey, I hope you got something out of this. Hope you have a great day. The Ninja is out. Oh, one last thing. If you wanna take advantage of getting out of debt and being ready for this course, I'll put a super big uh, discount link to uh, Dominate Debt. If you have problems with debt, there's a course on it. Check it out. I think you'll be super pumped. Everyone that's taken it has given me amazing feedback. They're getting out of debt and they're getting ready for this. So they can go buy the Louis Vuittons, the Diamonds, the 911s, and the houses. Hope you have a great day. Ninja out.